Alright, what is going on guys? No Force here bringing you a brand new video and in today's video we are of course doing another ve weapon variant review and today it is an epic weapon variant. The first epic weapon variant that I've actually been able to do. The next one will be the MV4 once I get enough salvage to get the epic and the legendary versions of that weapon. Or if I get some epic or legendary out of a supply drop, which I highly, highly doubt since I've only opened like five supply drops in the total of this beta being out because, you know, it takes forever to earn them. Okay, so basically I'm going to be running through the uh, weapon perks and telling you guys what they do. And also if I believe that this is the best gun in the, uh, the best weapon variant that you can get for the gun. And right before I even go into the weapon perks, this is the best variant of the FHR-40. If you can get to level 30 in the JT Wolverines, I actually really recommend because this gun is absolutely amazing. It's better than the nuke variant, it's better than everything. And I'm going to go through why it is right now. So basically... The first, the first weapon perk is Invigorate, which uh, what it does is killing an enemy refills a portion of your health. So basically, every time you kill someone and they like you get into a gunfight, you can get uh, you can get a little bit of your health back. So basically, what that means is that once you kill somebody, and like if you have ult multiple enemies around you, you'll basically be close to full health, even if the guy hurts you, like hits you with like two shots or something like that. You'll be back to almost full health to kill the other guy. And it basically just gives you those free and easy double kills. And the second one is uh, Stockpile, which is increased ammo. And that stacks with Extended Max. And it moves the clip up to 48. Which is actually really needed for this weapon because it runs out of ammo really quick with the, uh, with the uh, fast fire rate that it has. And if you put Extended Mags on this variant, it is absolutely amazing. And as you can see by the gameplay, it comes with an integrated... Um, red dot sight that you don't have to use any uh any points on which is amazing so basically i'm gonna run through why this is the best variant of the gun this is the best variant of the gun because all of the other variants do only small things to help you but the invigorate weapon perk is probably the absolute best weapon perk in the game if this weapon perk was on the nuclear variant the nuclear variant would be better because you could get a nuke but it's not, and because of that, this is the best variant of the game, and plus, the stockpile actually helps a lot if you put it on extended mags. I believe it would move the uh, ammo up to 64, which is absolutely uh, incredible. And if you have 64 bullets, who cares about your accuracy, because you can just spray and spray and spray, because you'll barely ever run out of ammo. It's like having an LMG with 100% movement speed. It's actually kind of insane with how, uh, how good this thing works. I haven't unlocked extended mags for this... Uh, weapon quite yet i believe you unlocked them at level like 13 i'm level um 12 with the gun so yeah that's kind of uh left down but other than that this gun has uh really proved its worth in my opinion because it's just one of the best weapons that you can possibly get in the game basically all of the epics that you can earn are probably some of the best guns in the game which um is really a testament to how the variants are a little bit overpowered but i'm not going to talk about that right now i'm going to talk about that when the game actually comes out because right now this is just the time for enjoying the beta and uh enjoying what infinity ward is actually giving us with this beta so basically um that's all i have to say for this video let me know what level you guys are in the jt wolverines or if you guys switch to the other team i forget what the other team is called but uh just tell me if you guys switch to the other mission team and also tell me what level you are in that mission team. I believe I'm level 9 in that mission team. So I'm grinding out to get the variants for you guys so I can make more videos. And uh, basically, that's all I have to say for this video. So, it's been the new Enforcer. Leave a like and subscribe to the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.